Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to remove the header and footer of a single page in Squarespace 7.1. Cover pages are not an option in Squarespace 7.1, so this is an essential code snippet to know if you're going to create any landing pages. Here I have my demo site open, and I'm going to navigate to the page that I'd like to remove the header and the footer from. You'll see we have the footer down here, and then the header at the very top. If you're curious, this is the Almar demo template. Um, a link to this will be beneath the video. So I'm going to select pages, and we'll just do this on the very first page listed as the home page here. If I select this gear icon, I'll be able to navigate to my individual page settings menu. On this menu, I'll need to select advanced. And then down here, we have page header code injection. Now it's really important to note that this is still a premium feature only available for business and commerce plans. If you're on a personal plan, I do have one other option for you, so stick around for the end of the video. So if you're using a business or commerce plan, this is the best way to remove the header and footer. You need to first create a style bracket by typing the word style in between two carrots and then pasting this code. This code says header and footer sections display none and important. This word right here makes sure that the browser will prioritize this over any other CSS code that it sees. When you're done, select save. And now you'll notice as the page reloads, the header is no longer available and the footer is no longer displayed either. Alrighty, so let's say you're not using a business or commerce plan, but you'd still like to use this code. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out of here and select save. So now we can see they've both been returned. Now to add this to an individual page, we can use an on-page code block. Select edit on the top left-hand side. And then in any individual block you see on your site here, all you need to do is hover until this little droplet appears. This will allow you to select here, and I'll type in the word code because we're going to insert an on-page code block. Now I'm going to paste the same code we just used, placing the header and footer section display none in between these style brackets. So we have two carrots in the word style, and at the very end, we've got two carrots in the word style. And then in between there, we've got the code that says header and footer sections don't display them. When you've pasted it there, select apply and then select save. And now you'll notice already, I'll go ahead and select back. <laughs> already we can see that the header and the footer are no longer displayed on this page. So again, if you're using a personal plan, I recommend doing an on-page code block like we just did. I'll show you that one more time. Select edit and then scroll over your content until you see this little droplet here, selecting that, and then grabbing a code block. That's how you create it there, and you'll paste the code right here in this section. I'll go ahead and select cancel because we don't need to see that again. And I'll go ahead and delete these code blocks so we can go back to normal here, and I'll select save. Now, if you do have a business or commerce plan, one last time to recap here, select the gear settings icon on the page you'd like to apply this to, scroll down to advanced, and paste the code right here between two style brackets, okay? Awesome. Now, no matter what you do, select save when you're done and you should be good to go. Thanks for watching this tutorial and have fun with your Squarespace website. For plugins, templates, and tutorials designed exclusively for Squarespace 7.1, head on over to insidethesquare.co slash 71. That's insidethesquare.co slash 71.